Hello everyone, welcome to another fantasy match preview. This is for the interesting game between London and Welsh. And we are very sorry that we cannot come live to you for this specific one. But we'll still be there to answer all your questions. So you can drop all of them in the comments after looking at this preview. We'll happily answer all of them. And we have some very interesting insights for this game. Nikhil Bhai, you tell me how do you look at this specific game going? Yeah, I like how you said it's very interesting because it's between two teams who we have no clue how they'll go on that very day. But yeah, that's how the 100 has been. Thankfully, things are slowly coming back on track. Uh, hmm. Matchups, data starting to work. So fingers crossed. Hmm. Absolutely. So we'll start by discussing a little bit of the ground dimensions because this is one of those peculiar grounds where the ground dimensions will play an even bigger role. So... I think it's essential to start with that. And this is large, yep. like you can see. Now, the square boundaries are just a dink away. And if you look at the bat of some guys like Pollard, it's not even a dink. It's just an edge away. While if you see the side, the side, the straight boundaries and the side uh, straight boundaries, all of them are really long. The pockets are 86 meters, 81 meters, 82 meters straight. So... Do you feel like this will be that catch-22 situation for spinners where one, if they're able to use the dimensions where they have like a really big ground dimension to use, while on the other end of the batsman is even able to like pick that one small side, it's all in their hand? Uh, I think it is also a very, it's always been a bowling venue. So that hmm. is something to also keep in mind. The pitches have always assisted fast bowlers. So, whoever spin, spinner will play or whoever will play, they will be smart to not pitch it short. Uh, right. Beat pacer or spinner, because you know short yeah. boundaries. Uh, 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 unless you miss it or use the surface really well with variations, you can get a weekend. So, it's an interesting thing to keep in mind. This is a venue where you bat first. Because the pitches tend to slow down. You see, we saw that in the England series hmm. as well. Uh, obviously, England, 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 England series. Hogi, but in whatever games you've seen at Lords, chasing hmm. hard is Lords. Pe. So, if the first score batting karke bada kar diya, then uh, Pacers especially find it really well to defend good scores. Fair enough. So, I feel like at this, this place, the ground gives us a lot of insight on how we can frame our team. Yep. So, we have already set up a small base team which we'll speak about and then we'll talk about captaincy and vice-captaincy choices. So, currently, this is what our base team looks like. We've gone with Ben McDermott. Not too much to discuss there because all the choices in the keeping section are what you call as, I'll not say anything, the indication to tell you enough. Then we have three batters. Now, again, the batters are not the most reliable in this section, but Lawrence bold and he looked okay with the bat, so he's fine to take. And Miller should be able to make use of square boundaries while Duckett has been stable. Now, Nikhil, why do you feel like someone Pollard, like someone like Pollard will fit in here? Or do you feel like there's some other batter like Morgan that you want to take? Yeah, you could actually effectively take six batters in this game hmm. uh, because you are not sure really who is going to come off. Uh, London by finally batted how London used to bat last season. So hmm. very interesting to see how they recover from that. Usually with Morgan's teams, you see when they have a bad game, they go even harder. Something like McCallum will agree to. So hmm. you could definitely take Morgan and Pollard if they bat first. I think that's a very good combination to bat. Again, the logic here I'm using is first batting, you bat well, you defend. So same logic here. If uh, Welsh fire pehle batting, then Bhagwan will save everyone. But uh, you can then back their middle order players hmm. and accordingly all rounders because they might do the bulk of the scoring. So, whatever scenario you think will happen, or toss can as the conditions be pata chal jayengi. So, options you have a joke lack as well. He should also be doing fairly well. His big hmm. knock is also due. He has a very quiet hundred. So, potentially you have a lot of options. There is Daniel Bell Drummond as well. And uh, so, options both. Uh, just go with your gut feel because both teams are very unreliable with their batting. Right. So that is a lot of options, but at the other end, it's also a lot of thinking to do. So I guess yeah. the conditions will dictate a lot. Then we look at, we have gone with three all-rounders for now, Liam Dawson, Dwayne Pretorius and Jordan Thompson. Now, do you feel like Jordan Thompson will be someone who will be in your team only if he's bowling first or he makes it in both scenarios because you've seen him get a few in the second innings too? Yeah, I think he did. He get he got those wickets. Lonely, maybe could be. Uh, so that is something we can check. But 
given that he bowls that length that that works at lords uh, yeah. he could be a very good pick similarly i feel dwayne petorius usually has that one game where he yeah. really takes up three four bowling first at least and with the bat i thought he's not been used much uh, maybe that can be that can change so i think ye dono pick to definitely aapke team mein hone chahiye liam dawson pe aap risk le sakte ho agar wo pehle bowling kar rahe hain and you feel ki nahi pacers zyada kaam karenge to maybe hmm. you can slot in an extra pace bowling all rounder or a batter if you want to all right based on who slots in that will be an interesting choice to make and finally we have taken four bowlers here Nathan Ellis, Jake Ball, Chris Wood, and David Payne. Now, obviously, when you saw the ground dimensions, the first thing that we discussed is how the spinners might not have a great day if the pitch is favoring batters. So, assuming that the pitch will favor batters, we have gone with a set of paces yeah. because they will be effective in certain sections, while bo- while spinners might have their overs getting cut. Yes, and the, see, the thing is, in this particular section, you see something like a Nathan Ellis is still due. Uh, yeah. now again when we say dew he is in good bowling form but he ha- but he is not getting the required wickets the yeah. same i won't say for some like a jake ball or even a david pen they require a certain set of conditions to come off ke yeah. wo death was mein dal rahe hain ya ekdam swing ho raha hai to david pen bahut lethal ho sakta hai so aisa aapko i think player differentiation karna important hai ki kaun sa player aisa hai jo form mein hai aur kaun sa player aisa hai jo फॉर्म में नहीं है पर कंडीशन पे बेस पे मैं पिक कर रहा हूँ तो अभी के लिए बिकॉज वी आर नॉट रियली श्योर ऑफ द बैटिंग सेक्शन वी हैव पैक्ड द बेस्ट का पॉसिबल बोलर्स फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर सेक्शन एंड या इफ यू फील ऑन दैट डे इफ देर इज इट्स अ फ्लैट डे कैन यू वांट टू पिक मोर ऑलराउंडर्स और बैटर्स प्लीज मेक द चेंजेस बिल्कुल फेयर इनफ and yeah i in the fair enough reminds me i read a few comments yesterday saying that i say fair enough a lot so i guess ms is well you know has come to me as fair enough so fair enough <laughs> fair enough <laughs> anyway yes then it's it's so it's so weird sometimes it feels funny that people observe even the smallest of things and no problem I even mean, i do that a lot but yes. yeah it, it feels and weird so to I, be in that place <laughs> correct that's a good that's one thing that you have to pay or get when you are in the public eye so yes i was right london mein hi jordan thompson ne char wicket lete bowling second hmm. so that is the venue that's for him a, because basically that becomes a gl option if he's bowling second then bilkul but again the key hmm. point is they have to get the score in that very game also they didn't have the score it was pollard's small cameo towards the end 11 ball 34 hmm. that got them to the score of 160 and they defended it well so uh, that is the thing and samne was manchester originals so they are still a decent squad so yeah that's that's why we said okay we are backing pacers baki yes you can take your call yeah but i guess that's the risk we always run especially when we make a second innings bowler many times we make a spinner second innings captain vice captain that's a risk yeah. that we run that he might they might not even have a score on the board and that's yeah. why we say second innings fantasy will help you complete the rest of those fantasies Yes, that's. I think one of the biggest advantages of second innings fantasy is it nullifies the conditional uh, thing mm-hmm. for you. The सबसे बड़ा problem cricket में होता है कि conditions क्या है क्योंकि that dictates pitch. अगर आपने एक innings देख ली है तो even the game with uh, Welsh fire that uh, you know Paul Sterling scored, everybody would have made the top order guy captain. But आपका mm-hmm. captain vice captain कौन था? That is then eventually what decides the second innings. But you are still in the game mode. टाई भी हुआ तो क्या हो गया यार पैसे तो आए ना एब्सोल्युटली सो आई गेस देयर इज नॉट टू मच टू डिस्कस इन कैप्टेंसी वाइस कैप्टेंसी एवरीबॉडी विल प्रोबब्ली गो विद प्रिटोरियस एंड थॉमसन हु डू यू फील लाइक विल बी अ डिफरेंशियल चॉइस अह गोइंग विद अ बैटर विल बी डिफरेंशियल स्पेशली एट लंदन तो शायद अगर पहले बैटिंग करे तो आई माइट बी टेंप्टेड टू गो विद somebody like a morgan uh, even some like a daniel lawrence could make a very good pick uh, yeah. again the logic is going to be that he'll probably come on and bowl to the likes of duckett miller uh, so that could eventually also work in his favor so uh, differential options might be in the batting section for this very game uh, nathan ellis could also be a very good option to try out uh, but again this is all subject to them getting good scores agar aapko lagta hai ki nahi it's getting too too dicey to take a call to hmm. dwain petorius possibly while bowling first you can keep him captain bowling second may you can possibly even take a risk hmm. but again that's the kind of venue this is that uh, <laughs> somebody like him could hit that length and take you a lot of wickets so maybe captain vice captain may thompson or uh, uh, 
ग्रेंड पिटोरस के बीच में यू कैन शफल ठीक है सेफ एंड जीएल रिस्की ऑप्शन तो बता दिए उन्होंने मेरे मन में एक ही बंदा चल रहा है एंड आई ज़ूम इन ऑन हिम नो बेन मैकडॉमेट आई फील लाइक अगेंस्ट जेक बॉल एंड डेविड पेन इफ ही गेट्स इन ही कैन रेक सम हैविक सो आई विल नॉट से इन स्मॉल लीग बट इन ग्रैंड लीग्स आई विल श्योरली ट्राई हिम एज कैप्टन वाइस कैप्टन Yes, I think a combination of uh, somebody like a uh, McDermott and one of the their opening bowlers could make a very good co- somebody like mm-hmm. Jordan Thompson and Ben Ben McDermott. That could be a very good combination uh, because one guy takes wickets in bulks and other guy when he scores he scores a good six sixty right. seventy. So, so many boundary bonus points. <laughs> exactly, and thing is, he's very good on the short ball as well. We saw yeah. we saw the short boundaries are very small. So again, just use your visualization. But yeah, these are our inputs that you can find useful, hopefully. Absolutely. So we are probably running out of time. But remember that you should join the free contest yep. and the leaderboard contest. Both of them are still open and available to you. So you should join both of them. Make yep. full use of all the benefits that are available to you. And apart from that, if you guys have any sort of questions, if you feel like you're confused about any matchup or any sort of data that you want. please feel to feel to drop it in the comments and if we have anything that we can answer for you nikhil bhai and me will try and answer it for you so that you are sorted before the game and we hope Welcome. that all of you have an amazing one please take care also happy winnings